Hello everyone, welcome back to the Netherlands. Ah, I got you there, at least for a second. You thought I had switched out the audio files, you were a bit confused, perhaps you checked the title, thinking, what, did I paste the wrong video now? No, instead, welcome back to the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, and we are at war with our neighbors to take back our rightful cores of Minsk, was it? Yes, Minsk and also Podilia. And we will do so swiftly and uh, hopefully without any incidents, because Russia right now is not only at war with Germany, they are now at war with the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, Romania, the British Union of Fascists. I, it just comes as a reflex, they're not actually fascists. Of course they're at war with Polish-Lithuanian Africa, uh, Sri Lanka, which is very powerful, you should never mess with Sri Lanka, they will kill you. And uh, the British Empire, based here in, in Canada, which is also fighting a separate war, so I don't think they will be of much use. Nor that they would ever be of much use, but sure. Perhaps they will surprise us with some British Im Imperials coming down and killing them. We should really get rid of this guy. He will arrive in Siedlice, very very close to this point. And they are now with 138 brigades. And we should really be able to, to handle that. We will send up... Most of these forces actually to the north here to protect Latvia from falling. Latvia is the thing keeping Germany in the war. We want Germany to be in the war. That is to our distinct advantage. We, if we haven't already... No, we already offered them military access. Wonderful. Or are they giving us military access? No. We, are, we could give them... Um, no, wait, we are giving... Oh god, I, I keep make, messing up the positions of giving and having military access with them. So we are le getting... Le we are allowing them to go for our country. That's what I'm trying to say. Words today, apparently, are very difficult. We will go ahead to just... Oh, we don't have military access through here. Okay, can we uh, can we get military access from you? Wonderful, Silvia. Come on, give it to us. Wonderful. Now we can go to uh, Yalgava over here and protect the Latvians. We also need to rush towards Latvia, I mean uh, Riga here, which is under occupation actually from Bukovina, which is very surprising. Bukovina is of course in the war, but I'm certain that our friends in Romania can handle that. Uh, we also need to send some troops pretty much everywhere. We are at war with Austria as well, which have crawled to, to the Russians for begging for assistance, which is very disgusting actually. Not a fan of that. The Germans are heading there to take that. Okay, so these two armies shall remove the last remnants of G uh, Russian resistance here. And unfortunately, we won't be able to, um, to save Riga from complete occupation. But we should be able to reverse that occupation very shortly. So I'm not concerned about that at all. What I'm concerned about is that our fleet is not doing very well. Plus, for some reason, we haven't totaled our military spending. So that will uh, leave our troops with, well, not enough support. This army should be able to... Oh god, that was a massive victory. That was complete and utter victory. And that's what I like to see. Yeah, so we are dominating on a grand scale at the moment. Just murdering the Russians everywhere that we can find them. As is custom. I don't like that some of these units are already going undermanned, despite not really having done anything at all, to be completely honest. Latvia wants military access, that's only fair. We will give it to them. I've been playing a bit of EU4 recently, so I'm so used to now that military spending will max out as soon as you go into a war. That would be a beautiful thing to have. Oh god, that's a bit too many for this one army. Perhaps if we go here with Brest-Litovsk and then have from uh, Baranovici, we should be able to... They are atta actually attacking us. That is fair. I don't mind that. Oh yeah, I put it uh, to pause. Even though I saw it coming. But then we will attack their army and head towards Podilia. This army is, however, getting quite out outnumbered. Which is surprising. Perhaps we should take out this 20,000 men. They're mostly conscripted. They don't have much artillery at all. In fact, their only artillery is moving away from them. 
So they should be a slaughter. They don't have any artillery. We do have both artillery and also some hussars and everything like that. This army, having saved Gdansk, Gdansk, will head down to secure Krakow for future generations to come. Krakow is... there we go. There is Krakow. But the border areas are important as well. There we go. We have a election starting, which is a bit unfortunate timing. Should be able to hold it off. I I would want it to hold off until... You know, you can... What? Who is this? Oh, Romania. Come on, Romania. Don't give me attrition for no reason. So you're going to Slutsk and this guy is going to Mozia. Mozia. The Germans are already murdering the Russian Empire. I've, I believe the Russian Empire is down for the taking. We could probably take more things than just this. We could take perhaps Kiev. Kiev would be beautiful to have. And then we can at some point absorb Romania and then we can, you know, annihilate Hungary. Everything would just be beautiful after that. So a bit overpowered, but we will attack with full force on the, on the Austrians here. Mainly due to them having the terrain advantage and things like that. We should have the technology. Maybe we don't have the technological advantage actually. Do they have? We should have the technological advantage as well. Yes, definitely. So what's the issue? Well, they want to already give up Minsk. And uh, I say, sure, but we also want Saris Podilia. And then after that, we will demand more things. More things. For the people. Kiev, for example. Very important little thing. And this army is getting totally and completely and utterly smashed. What is going on? The Austrians are putting up a fight. A very, very good fight. Which is a bad fight for us. Of course. Our armies are actually taking a great deal of punishment due to attrition here. I'm assuming these swamps are not very conducive to... Yeah, attrition plus one to begin with and probably a fairly low supply limit. Coupled with having too many men there. So, yeah. Not very great. We should still move on. This army needs to recover and uh, we probably have to remove some units after this you can just pop it. oh well we can destroy this army first and then we can go back and liberate these two i like that we have a border with vienna vienna is just right at the door could we um oh we need to have jingoism well we have an election coming up shouldn't we get some events that could increase jingoism at least i hope so Cherkasy and um the Romanians are handling that one over there. Uh, this is not about... This is about laser fair. I'm fine with laser fair. So we can deal with that. And this is already getting a bunch of things that we need to replace after the war is done. Military actor from... Well, the combined Portuguese empire. No, don't you dare. Come back here, Russians. Oleg Skoblev. I don't know who you believe you are, but don't believe too much about yourself, because you're going to die. Is this also... Oh, this is a forest. Like, I would want a battlefield game based on, I don't know, Victorian area battle. And uh, I don't know. Actually, maybe I don't. I, we already have... Battlefield 1, and it's not the best representation perhaps of of World War 1 fighting, but I, I do really like that game. Okay, let's take uh, Vienna. I can, I can fly around in a biplane. When was the last time I could do that in a Battlefield game? Not a long time ago. So that's why, and that's probably pretty much the only reason why I really like Battlefield 1. Uh, let's see, take out. No, wait, should we take out that army? That seems a bit scary. Actually, it is a bit scary. We should probably take out the Russians first. The Russians are doubling down on the defenses over here. And don't they have any other armies on these? Those are the four armies I have. Oh yeah, I do have a lot of armies over here. That's one thing I would like as well, since you have colonial armies and stuff like that. Like you could... Like I would want to have full military maintenance to these armies only. 
I don't want it to have to disarm it. They don't need full maintenance. And that could save me a lot of money if I could, for example, decide that no or order peacetime resources should go to the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth's troops in the colonies, right? And what and full maintenance should go to the ones in this theater. Having that kind of uh, control would be brilliant in this game. Or in a Victoria 3, should such a thing occur. Which I do. Ho hopefully it will be. That's good. We need uh, higher supply limits. And we should uh, destroy the one at Tjerkasi. Anything electricity would be nice as well, plus 50% supply limit. Considering we're fighting in low supply terrain, that's not too bad. Russian Empire wishes to have peace with decent terms, but we would love to have Kiev. What would it take to get Kiev? 19 war, war score, and it would give us 11 infamy. With, I'm fine with 11 infamy, but perhaps no one else is, because I can't demand it. Transnistria? No. Why can't I demand anything? Perhaps it will be in time. Though we don't have, honestly, we're losing 1,000 a day. Which means that we have, actually we do have quite a while that we could run this war without running out of money. But it's still, still not uh, perfect. We need more money. We need this war to end at one point or another. Kiev would, let's see here, on region map mode. We would get this part, we would get this part, and then having Kiev. And honestly, if we could get Transnistria as well, that would be even more beautiful. Then we would have everything kind of like that. Yeah, something like that. Could we add anything now? Sphere? No. Place in the sun? No. Dismantle fortifications? No. Take from sphere? No. Free people? No. Why not? I hate when it does that. Do I have to pause the game for it to be able to Kiev? No, I cannot add it. And now suddenly it takes 21 war score. I thought it was 19 before. But I hate that you can't do it. It doesn't tell me why I can't do it. It doesn't tell me anything really. Um, let's affair. Free trade, sure. Let's see here then. I think it is the Jingwism support, honestly, because I can't do it here. Here it tells me about the Jingwism support. That is too low. But it's growing. It doesn't say it for the Russian side, so I assume it's the same issue that, that crops up. We'll see though. I'm increasing speed now since there's very little action going on, and we finally defeated the Austrian forces. Just uh, gonna have the definitive battle over here. There, and then Proskorov take out that as well. Uh, how's the Jingwei's in support? It is growing very rapidly. Only a few days more, maybe a month perhaps. And then we should have enough to be able to demand things. Russia is getting completely owned by Germany. Which is both good and scary. Germany is a good ally in this case, but they are the most powerful nation on earth. And they demanded peace. What did it take for peace? Uh, do I see anything about peace? No. What, what did they do? What did they do? I don't see that they did anything. Damn Germans. Damn Germans. I don't think they actually did anything, which is bad. Maybe we can see now if uh, Team Grayson support, it is growing, it is growing very rapidly, need only a little bit more. Come on now Team Grayson, you know you want to grow. Do I have to call another election so I could get at least one event? Now I, of course I didn't get anything that increased Team Grayson, but if I did, if I did, would have been able to by now. Let's see here. One... North German Federation declared... Oh no! 
Oh no. No. This is not what I wanted. Again. German wrath has come upon us. Okay. Okay. Mobilize. Mobilize. Everyone. Mobilize. Now war has come upon us and we are suddenly facing German forces here in Russia. We're gonna fight German forces in Russia. Luckily this army is a bit isolated, lower speed. Now we're fighting both Russia and Germany at the same time. And apparently the Germans decided to show up in Kiev. We will try to box them in if possible. With a big battle in Shitomir. Actually, maybe it would be better to have it in Kiev, after all. Since Kiev is a plain, farmlands, actually, well, this one is forest. I think it would be better for us to fight in Kiev than it would be to fight anywhere else. So we'll see. Uh, they are pouring out. The damn bastards are pouring out. We need, we need a peace now with uh, Russia. Could we add any war goal now? What about, what about it, uh, Austria? No. Jingoism is almost at the level we need it to be. So we will hold out a little bit longer. This one is not a good battle, but we are defeating the, the Germans in Kiev. The worst part is that they can come from the east now. They can come from the east. Without me being able to do much about it. Perhaps we should intercept this army here, if we can. Of course we can't. Well, we will intercept this army over here then. Send reinforcements. And up here. Battle of Kiev. Not brilliant, but it was a victory. And the victory is worse, I mean better than defeat. They will go to... Some will go to Chitomir. And some will go to Korostan. Let's go to Korostan. Intercept them. Oh, another battle? Did they send more troops there? Well, that's... How come we are the ones attacking them? That's shitty. Unless they decided to stay. Then I don't understand why the battle ended to begin with. Well, one way or another, things are not looking great in that battle, so we probably need to send some reinforcements. And things are not looking great in this battle either. The Germans are completely owning us in every regard. Are we now able to demand what we wanted? Perhaps we can. Let's see if my theory was correct. Acquire state. Kiev. Yes, my theory was correct. Acquire Kiev. And that the Russians should be willing to go through with as well. I wonder if they are. Russians, will you offer me a piece now? Or do we have to wait for a week? Arrive on 4th of December. 4th of December. I wonder then. Will 3rd Imperial Conquest, 2nd North German Liberation of Ostpreußen. I do have my British people and Romanians on my side. They want that damn Ostpreußen. They want it really, really badly. Let's go through, through Chidomir. In this battle this is going so bad it's not worth fighting. We're losing so many more men than they are and I think... Like, the technology should be about as, as high as it can be. The technology is at the same level. I don't understand why the battles are going so badly, every single one of them. Sure, they're not at the, at the best that it could be, but it shouldn't be that bad. They're not that bad. Okay, let's uh, divert some forces over here. End that battle before we lose the entire fucking army. God damn it. That was such a bad battle. Holy crap. Okay, Russia, can we have peace now? They would accept this offer. Well, good. We will send this offer then. We will keep everything we've gained. And we have gained more, more land now. It looks more like Poland-Lithuania now than it did before. So I'm very happy about that. So now we can perhaps take out the Germans over there and... Uh, well, this is a very strange war since they came from the east this time. But together, we can do it. I believe in us. I believe it. I have faith. And not in this battle, apparently, because this one is... Recruits. Recruits getting murdered. Come on. 
Just win in Kiev. Give me a victory. Give me something to celebrate. I have a bottle of vodka over here. I need to open it. But I won't open it to anything. Only good news. Well, maybe they will go to maximum strength. Perhaps if we only send 15,000 men, then they won't be bugging out. And then we can send the rest for a defensive battle. Defensive battle, maybe? Will that be good? Preslitovsk needs to be saved. Warsaw needs to move out. Come on, I hate that. Stop. Here we go. Preslitovsk. Or Bialystok. That's good. Wait, are Romania still fighting against the Overlord? They are fighting. I guess we forgot about Romanians. The Latvian lands. We can gain cores on the Latvia. And we can drain the, Minsk, uh, the Pinsk marches. And we will do so. The Latvian lands. Well. To start with, the Latvian lands are under German overlordship. So it's not too bad to, to wish for it. So we could add that as a war goal. And depending on how, how it goes with North German Federation here. Perhaps that is something we could even demand. Perhaps it could be. So, could we get an alliance with you? No? Why are we... In... Are you at war with... Oh, you're... we are on the same side, Franz. I get it. I understand you now. And uh, this one is a bit s scary. That's a scary battle. Actually, let them, let them walk. Let them get there. And on the 5th of January, we can start moving. And intercept them. There we are. It's going... It's going, yeah. If I could find one word to describe this campaign, it is that it's going. Wars are happening. Things are moving around. We could... We could declare war on Latvia. To restore order. And since we are already at war with Germany, I don't think they could even join them on their side. So we could send up one army to occupy Riga and stuff like that and demand it. Since we are already at war with Germany, that shouldn't be causing any issues and they don't have any army anyway. So why not? While, while we have an opportunity, why not take the Latvian lands? I do like that there's so many events that pop up for... Poland, Lithuania, for things you could reverse, things you could take back and stuff like that. I, I like that a great deal. Send this army up there and uh, send this army in two separate directions up here. So they don't take so much damage. And let's see, move around into Memel. While we liberate some land. There's only like 32,000 men. So it doesn't even take that long and... It doesn't really hurt our war effort all too much. But these... Oh, God damn it! Like, I don't understand why I'm losing so badly against the damn Germans all the time. This is a decent leader as well. And uh, sure, I mean, can they have so many great leaders that every single battle is just getting murdered? Let's see, that's not a good battle. Let's go to Allen Sign instead and send up the um, Polish-Lithuanian army to pluck. Wait, more than that. Elbing. Intercept those Germans. And then we should assemble the greatest army that Poland Lithuania has ever seen. Which is pretty much what we've already done. But we will assemble it to destroy the Germans in Königsberg. Just box them in. Box them in everywhere that I can. I will just send a million men to surround. Uh, let's see, this is Grand Colombia. Sure, Grand Colombia, we can have a, an alliance. If you want to join in on the, on the fun, I'm not averse to that. They will not accept. They will accept. They will not accept. Well, perhaps then we won't. I spoke out of turn. There we go. And uh, see, first Latvian army attacking us. Well, we can send one more army just to speed up the process a little bit. But soon we will have Latvia as well. For the glorious, glorious, glorious Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. 
Wait, what? Did I just lose 51,000 men? What? What kind of bullshit was that? Uh, please tell me I saw that wrong. I accidentally clicked it away a bit too fast, so I didn't really see. But please tell me I did. I saw that incorrectly. And I didn't lose 51,000 men just randomly. Oh, a battle that is starting out well? What is this? What kind of sorcery? Oh wait, actually send, send it over here. We need to to save our poor, poor Polish friends. It's a good battle. Perhaps we can um, follow that up with a good battle in Memel as well. Actually, this battle is going much, much better. And we're having 100,000 men sitting here in... In, um, I was going to say Latvia, but Warsaw. There we go, Warsaw. Not doing anything. Come on, kill the Regans, Latvians, I mean. There we are. Are there any Livonians in, in this game? Like where was where are, where did all the Livonians go? I mean, I know that they don't exist anymore. Their language or whatever. But at one point they did, didn't they? I don't know. Maybe it's something I, I dreamed. Let's see here in Bialystok. Overall, we're having a much better, like that helped a lot that, well, it doesn't seem like they have managed, they have more men than this. This is not everything they have. But is it the men they managed to get through? And this is the men they had in the east, and we have pretty nicely, although costly, defeated them. I would assume that this is the best generals that they sent to that campaign. That would only make sense. But it's still a nice thing here that is happening. Latvia, do you want to... No, you don't want to die. That's fine. Maybe now. We only have Kurlan left. Fine, we'll take the rest too. Come back to Lithuania. This is 80,000 men. Split that off. There we are. I'm assuming that all of North German Federation is teeming with men. But why is the British Union not sending ships, at least to blockade or something like that? Anything would be preferable. Really anything at all. Oh, I'm still paused. What? I didn't know that, but now we can increase speed. Meanwhile, we will position men in Bromberg, we will position men in Krakow, we will position men a bit everywhere, in case they come back, in case they manage to get through. In Danzig, in... I don't know, Oppel. Let's send men south to protect the border. Against enemy incursions. There we go, our next Latvia. And next, Latvia, and that gives us the Ukrainian lands. Course on Kiev and Orsha. Well, we will go for that. Unfortunately, I already claimed Kiev, but... Uh, I mean, just one battle that was over, or one war. Now we got claim on Orsha. So we have that. Now we have this land here, which would give us a nice opportunity to, to claim Transnistria over here, so we could get access to the Black Sea. And the last battle over here with the Germans on our land is uh, rapidly coming to a conclusion. So yeah, this was a very war-filled episode and I, while this war is not over yet, I think uh, as the conclusion of this battle we will take a cut here because this episode has been running for at least 30 minutes or well, close to it anyway. There we go. Actually, gotta have the conclusion here for this battle. This army needs to be defeated. Our army. More like gang of robbers and barons. Or robber barons. There we go. And we also got a technology done at the same time, which is brilliant. So I hope you've enjoyed this very war-filled episode fighting against both the Russian Empire and the North German Federation. For the second time now, the Wrath of Germany Part 2 and Electric Boogaloo, whatever you want to call it. 
And uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, subscribe, do all that kind of nice things. Perhaps spam the comments with various uh, things that come up in your head. You know, do what you want. I won't judge you one way or another. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one.